Hi there, this is Bridget from the Planner Speechy. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be planning for the week of December 4th through the 10th, 2023 in my Sadie Stickers Vertical Planner. I'm going to be using this kit from Charlotte's Paper Company. It is gorgeous. It is called Parisian Christmas. It's a beautiful photography kit with blue foil, which is very unique. I, I really haven't seen um, a lot of blue foil, but I think it's a smart choice for the holiday season. Um, this is also the first week of Hanukkah, so I thought it would be a nice homage to use blue instead of your traditional red or green. I love the images here. I have been to Paris uh, once, and it was just fantastic. I went in November, so it wasn't really dressed up for the holiday season yet, but it was still really fantastic. So here's some really beautiful blues. We've got some blue icons. Um, this weekly tracker is really gorgeous. We have some blue decorative items here, um, along with some taupes and beiges. This is the washi. It's just gorgeous. And then these are the date dots. I am going to use just like black and white. Um, to do the date dots because I don't have blue foil. Um, but so that's the kit. Unfortunately, this kit is no longer available. She does not make foiled planner kits anymore. You can check out her Etsy shop. She might have some extra kits, um, but she's no longer, that's like not her primary business. Um, I'm also gonna be using lots of festive stickers. So if you watch my sticker haul, you'll see that I have a ton of really cool stickers. I'm already losing my voice. So um, these are my Crafty Banana Christmas candles. I can tell you right now I have, um, I have Balsam, which I feel like is probably closest to a Christmas tree. I have, Frosted Cranberry, uh, and I used to have, this says Winter Wonderland. <coughs> I feel like I wish these would be updated with more of the bed, uh, Bath & Body Works candles because I know a lot of her other collections mirror those too. I'm going to be continue with my Country Christmas coffee cups. Um, I'm going to, I might throw in some gold. I haven't decided yet. I thought these would go well with the theme of this, but I'm not sure. I'm definitely gonna be using a lot of new stickers. Here's my Christmas Doodle Countdown, and then I just pulled in some stickers from my collection that I know I'm gonna use. Um, so there's a lot to unpack here, um, and hopefully the memory in my phone will not run out before I can finish filming. It's a little dark because it's a little rainy outside, um, but thanks for watching me plan this cozy afternoon and, um, yeah, I'm going to speed things up and come back in a voiceover. All right. So I apologize. I started to put this down and I can't find the original video that showed the page fresh, but as you can see, I was doing this closer to the sunset hours because the light had shifted. So I apologize for this like lighted change. Um, this was a really fun kit to use, and I'm just so excited that it is actually still available. There's limited stock, obviously, so definitely don't wait if you're interested. But I really enjoyed being able to use the foiled blue. It was so pretty. So I used a functional header to mark this week, and then I put down a weekly tracker to mark um, medicine and vitamins. I used a full box tracker to mark my sort of to-dos for cleaning. Um, and then I marked uh, the rest of it with a full box sort of note spread just for journaling. Um, I decided to use this full box double set um, on the weekend because I thought it would look really pretty. And then all of the other storefronts and shops uh, were just sort of scattered throughout. There was no rhyme or reason to them. But I really loved the way that the art was used and how special everything looked. Um, it's just really, really fun kit to use.
And now because it was blue foiled, I couldn't naturally just mix in all of the other stuff that I typically use. I had to be very careful about which additional things I brought in. Um, I did put down a sort of half box from Once More With Love to mark just like seasonal planning. I used a half flag to say that I was listening to holiday tunes. And then um, I felt sick all day and I did wear a mask. Uh, this was a continuation over from um, the weekend. And I had a temperature that evening of 101.5. So um, I ended up canceling my therapy like maybe five minutes before it was supposed to start. Um, explaining that I was really, really sick and uh, I just couldn't, I couldn't do therapy because I needed to get to a doctor to figure out what was going on. Um, I tried to get a, an appointment with urgent care and um, I wanted to see my real doctor because at this point I'd been sick for a month with various things and I wanted something together. So I call, I did call out sick. I was able to get an appointment with my doctor at 1130. Um, my husband did fly home on Tuesday morning, so I was able to see him, but I was miserable all day long, and I tested positive for type A flu. Um, for those of you who have not gotten your flu shots yet this season, here, let this be a lesson to you. Please go get them. I usually get it at the beginning of the year, but for some reason I didn't this year, and then it was too late. So please, please, please go get your flu shots because I felt absolutely miserable. They told me that I could not return to work until I had a fever of less than 100. Uh, my temperature was less than 100. If I had 100, I was not allowed to go back to work because I was technically still contagious. So I called in sick and my principals, but both schools were like, oh my gosh, stay home, please. I'm so sorry. You know, they were very forgiving and nice about it. Um, I just felt rotten because this was not a good week to miss work because the kids were already going to be missing sessions for the holiday break. So um, I was still sick. I still had over 100. I did start watching The Crown with my husband. That was really nice. Um, but And I did do two IEP meetings virtually, even though I really couldn't talk. It was kind of a mess. But this was a non-productive sick day. So I had trouble sleeping, resting, breathing. I mean, in no position, I, I got comfortable in no position. So I was able to watch another episode of The Crown. Um, season six dropped and I've been waiting for my husband to get home so that we could watch it together because we both love that show. Um, and that was just kind of crazy. <laughs> so come Thursday, it was the first night of Hanukkah. Um, I was definitely starting to feel better and starting to feel more myself, so I used a Once More With Love sticker just to mark that. Um, and I had to take out the trash. Um, my dad had a doctor's appointment that was pretty important, so I called my mom to sort of debrief it afterwards. Um, I was work stressed because I was getting all of these requests for testing, requests for testing, and I was at home, and I'd been home for two days, and I just felt like I was falling behind over and over and over, and I was so stressed out. I ended up calling my um, SLP lead and sort of discussing my anxiety about being stressed out and how to fix, you know, my schedule a little bit, and she was super helpful. It was, like, so nice to talk to her. Um, I gave myself a festive manicure. I read my book club read and we watched another episode of the crown and then on friday i was able to return back to work i treated myself to a peppermint mocha from starbucks i was able to sort of exist and plan all day in a festive way and so i used that to mark that i had an iep meeting in the afternoon and so um and an EC planning meeting at 8 a.m., and I marked those with various stickers there. I was still pretty sick, but I felt so much better than I had. When you're sick and you're really, really sick, you measure your 
recovery sort of day by day, minute by minute. And I was able to do that um, in the planner. So by Friday, I was still sick, but feeling a lot better. Um, and we watched another episode of The Crown. So Friday was Saturday. I really just tried to focus on being festive and relaxing. So uh, I ended up cross-stitching one of my little Christmas projects. It's really cute. It's a Santa holding a wreath and it says believe and it's gorgeous. Um, and that was really fun. I did decorate the house. We put up our Christmas tree, although I did not um, put up ornaments <laughs> just yet. Um, I went to the library. I returned some books. I got some groceries at Publix. And um, the kitties really liked the tree. <laughs> and we ended up watching a movie, Little Giants, that my husband loved when he was a kid. So that's what we did on Saturday. And then on the 10th was our eighth meetiversary, which was the anniversary of our first date. Um, so we had we celebrated with pancakes and coffee and snuggling um, together. And that was just really nice. Um, and then I did a little bit more cross-stitching on the couch while Frank was, my husband was just kind of hanging out with me. And it was so nice. Um, I lit a balsam candle and we put the fireplace on. And it was just the coziest thing ever. So I added that little scene with one swarm of love to mark that we were doing that. Um, we did put ornaments on the tree and... Um, tried to be festive and then I did plan I filmed uh, a plan with me obviously I didn't get a chance to edit it but I did film it and that was my goal so I think this came out really really well I had a lot of extra stickers left over that were blue foil but I'm not sure when I'm going to use them but um I do think that they were that this came out really really well and I'm really happy with it um I just marked that this was the fifth week of me being sick, and I hope my body has recovered enough to be festive next week. And this was flu week, so that's what I writ wrote there. And I added a little golden lamppost because uh, I thought I would be able to use those more with this spread. But all right, I'm just filling in my to do. So I had laundry, bathroom, kitchen, trash, recycling, entryway, living room, and bedroom for my cleaning tracker. And that sort of didn't really happen, but there you go. Okay, so here it is, the overview of the whole week. I think it came out pretty great. I love all the little fun character stickers throughout. I think it looks fantastic. I had to add lots of extra flags because there were definitely not enough for the week. But And a, a lot of things like overlap on top of one another. But overall, I'm really happy with it. And I'm really glad that I decided to use this kit. I just realized now I did not mark um, the first night of Hanukkah. And I'm gonna hope I spelled that right. Um, and I also wanted to mark um, a couple of other things. Okay. Um, Yeah, so overall, I love the way this came out. I'm so sorry about the lighting, but I think it is really pretty. And there are things about this week that I hope I don't need to remember, but there are other things that I'm glad that I put in here. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next plan with me and have a good holiday season. Take care.